हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस लाइक अ ऑर्डर सर्च फिल्टर्स इन साइड एडमिन साइड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर लाइक अ चेकआउट चेकआउट इन साइड वी नीड टू कवर लाइक अ प्लेस ऑर्डर प्लेस ऑर्डर इन साइड वी नीड टू सेंड ई मेल लाइक अ प्लेस ऑर्डर ऑल्सो डन कैश ऑन डिलीवरी आई थिंक पे पाल्स एंड क्रेडिट कार्ड्स मीन्स ट्रैप वी एवर डन बट वी एवर नॉट सेंड ई मेल टू यूजर सो यूजर नो वॉट इज द हिज इन वॉइस एंड वॉट इज द हिज एन लाइक अ ऑर्डर इन वॉइस नंबर सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर एवरी थिंग्स सो आई वेर वन रिक्वेस्ट यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल अदरवाइज अदरवाइज इन दिस सीरीज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज प्रेस दी बेल आइकॉन सो वॉट एवर कॉन्टेंट वी आर अपलोडिंग सो यू ऑलवेज गेट दी नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट इमिडिएटली न्यू थिंग लर्निंग एंड ऑल्सो डू यू वॉन्ट टू बाय एनी ई कॉमर्स मीन्स एनी प्रोडक्ट्स सो जस्ट गो टू अवर ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट एर एर सोल्यूशन कोड डॉट कॉम एंड यू कैन बाय एनी प्रोजेक्ट हियर यू कैन सी इट and do you want to develop as a freelancer work just contact telegram skype and whatsapp but we always prefer a skype okay so let's start now just go to checkout page and we can fill all the just data and after we can choose the paypal once payment back here and after we can make here die is a payment controller insights because we need to test multiple time this reasons so just goes to downs so you can see it down 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 Like checkout payments, where is the success? Here is the success payment. So here we need to send an email. So let's comment out this one. So here we need to send an email, so we can make it die. So always please refresh and we can send the emails because of I I don't want to make a again again order. This is the reasons. So I'm making one time payment first. So just I can use like test, 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 test because of the YouTube privacy policy. This reason I'm always using test, test. I already explained last time. I don't want to create a new accounts. Just I can make like optionals, and I can choose PayPal's. And also, I can relax and process to checkout. Okay. So it's going to PayPal's. I can add like Ardex users, anyone's. I will also PayPal the email address, so I can use anyone's. So I have no issue. Okay. So let's pay now. Complete purchase. And he is redirected to back. Taking few seconds, you can see it seven second, six second. We don't want to touch anything. Otherwise, sometimes there is the issue. So why we need to touch? Okay, he is a go back now. You can see it, and after he can stop. So don't worry. You see, stop now because of complete details there. Also, pay ID also there. All thing there. So stop now because of we have made it die. So now here we need to work emails. So first we need to create a one email. So just go to mails inside. I will create a new file. Order invoice dot p order order mail dot php. Okay, not invoice. Whatever you can say. Let's make order invoice because it look like a professional. Order invoice mail dot php. Once you can create the file, just go to any file and you can copy. Let's go to register once. And I copy this once and I can paste here. Okay. After I can change the name and remove this space. Don't forget to remove this space. And after you can change the name of the class. So let's copy this name. And now we can go to backup, and you can declare here your mail. So first of all, we need to use the mail. So we can use like use mail. Second, we we need to provide the path. Whatever path we ever there this file. So app mail slash order invoice mail. So both declaration done. Now here we need to pass first simple data. Let's go to what controller and we can copy this mail function. Anyone you can copy register mail. Otherwise forget whatever do you want to like you can copy and you can put here. And I can change like get order to emails because of I already store inside emails inside a orders DB. Suppose you are follow the series, so you know about that. Okay. So this is the go. Now also always need here die. Once work done, after we can remove the die here. Now here we need to change the path means the class name. So our class name is there order invoice mails and I can change here. Okay. So here we have passed like one parameter. So this parameter we need to pass here. So here we can change to user to orders. Also you can change. Also you can change here. Okay. And here you can change like a. e-commerce order invoice whatever do you want to like you can do it your end order invoice 
okay next one we can change here like a file name because we need to create a new file name also you can change user to order because of we have orders after you can change your file name i think file name is a order invoice look like a professional so also you can put here order invoice let's copy this name and after i'm going to resources views inside emails and i will create a new file dot blade dot php simple you can go to anyone let's create a files okay files created successfully just go to here and copy and put here here you can change like a orders and now you need to remove all things because we need to test first like a demo emails working not working i am always receiving mail trap because my configuration inside any file is a mail trap okay so i save these files just go back again and i am going to also mail trap after i can told you how to work in chat gtp you can search and you can find the data i will show you because of we need to get a html for the invoice so i will use for this chat gtp i already search but i can tell you what do you want to search so you can get easily okay so don't worry about that this is the like a dummy emails whatever you are there you can use it your sides my side is a very dummy so it's clear everything i don't want to take now i will refresh the page so here i will receive the one email suppose not receive the email so means is the one error there so we need to solve this error so don't worry about that so he is sending the emails let's open the database here <coughs> okay taking few second more time much time takes because of first time sending email this is the reason so there is no any reasons now you see e-commerce order invoice whatever product name there you can put your and here you can see hello and here you can see name i have put but my side is not named there we can check inside e-commerce.com our database inside we can go to like a orders uh orders 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 you can see it here now we need to copy for the first name you can see it here is a first name there just copy the first name and you can put here first name okay here you can change like hi ardik or my name is ardik this is nice ardik otherwise whatever name you are there you can say hi test right now database inside says test this is showing the test now i am going to chat gtp i already search and i can copy here you can see it like dear so he can use dear words so we can use dear words okay let's copy all sir just you can search order invoice mail in html simple way you can search inside chat gtp after you receive like this code and what code do you want to use so simple you need to use the code here s2 and you can use tables and after we don't want to need like company name contact information do you want to do you have there so you can use i just need to use like this thank you for choosing e-commerce we efficient like this we can do it just copy and go back and you can put here okay let's go back again and uh, we don't need now first name let's send this email is working not working after we can make dynamic okay so let's go back again just press the enter because of i already had died so we can check is a new email how it's look show because i have not tried so just we can remove this comment also so you can see new email found so you can see look like a professional we have no issue like here you can see order invoice i think we don't need this name because we know this is the order invoice so just remove the s2 okay we know about order invoice now here we need to change like customer name to our name like a database name otherwise you can see it look like a professional you see so let's make it like a dollar get orders so here we can make like a orders you can see it here not get orders here you can pass like orders so first name i already used before but i have removed a first name okay thank you for choosing recent purchase with your company here you can change to our company names our company name is like e-commerce whatever your company name there you can put it here we can create like this video to make it dynamic but right now i have no time to create like this video so we need to make dynamic we have said to confirm your order and have attached an invoice and we have no attached just here there confirm your orders like this you can type please confirm your orders okay now here's the order details 
so we need to create order numbers right now we are not creating order numbers so just you can change like this to order numbers so we can make it dynamic now we can short out this one also order number so this is the order number so we are not there inside database like this column so let's create this column and we can go to back to structures and we can add a new column name before user id like before stripe session id so means is the after possible so order number i can make like where 225 and nulls okay so here you can see it like a order numbers so this order number again i need to create some data so just go to payment controller and here go up and whatever time we are adding the data inside a uh, order db this time we need to create a one order number so i think here we are doing you can see it here okay just change here and i already find this script how we can create an order number so we can use these scripts okay so this script creating like nine digit unique numbers for the order number just put here so here you can see it like order numbers so let's go to our database i will add a static right now but last video means last time once done after i can show you everything dynamic so don't worry right now i just add like a like this number okay so we can use like a order numbers otherwise we have done dynamic so let's back again order invoice so here's order numbers now purchase date so just you can use like created at just you can change like a created at next one is a shipping address so user add he know about shipping address but do you want to add so you can add here like country city whatever do you want to like you can add I just remove I don't want to add because whatever user did he know about his shipping address okay so what do you want to do so you can do it your end okay now your item quantity and price we need to show and after we need to show like a totals and here we need to show payment method like a PayPal stripe we have there so we can show so just we can make it like here payment methods so our payment method is equal to payment methods because of we have already there payment methods next one we have already their amount so just add a total amount whatever we have there so just you can short out like a total amount so let's go back again scroll down here you can see payment methods now here you can see it like total amount just copy and paste here now here also you can make number format so look like a professional this is the reasons otherwise no any reasons so let's go back again i copy this name here I can make like dollar orders number for total I can type because taking much time this reason total amount here I can make two okay and here I also add a dollar sign now we need to show our product dynamics so we have already did inside a admin side admin side you can go orders inside you can see detail.blade.php this reason before I will cover like a detail page so I can explain detail page very well so we can use it inside a order invoice so just copy this line and put here and here also you can make like an and for each okay now here you can change like a orders because of get item we are getting inside a order model I can show you orders model inside you can see it get item you see so this get item we are getting here so this item name we need to show first so just we need to show here product name so we can do it very simple way get item so let's go to orders models order small set model inside go to order items model order item model inside you can see like get product so just we can use like get product and we can do it like a TATL is a titles I know this is the product table name inside here name of the column titles now we need to show quantity so our quantity what is there so just go to order item db and here you can see it like a quantity so just you can copy and you can put it here also dollar item quantity after we need to show like our final price so what is the final price there so our final price there total price just copy and put here okay and also you can make like a here number format 
so look like a professional and here you can make it like a dollar signs let's refresh the page so we can check everything dynamic work cannot work and also you, here they are like please find attachment invoice refer i don't want to need so just remove and just you can make like thank you for choosing your company name so your company name is e-commerce so just you can change here e-commerce and here is showing the we appropriate your business okay let's save these files and just go back and refresh the page so very simple very easy this reason we have used dive so we can test multiple time so i will receive the new e-commerce order invoice otherwise place order here you can see thank you for here is showing the name here showing the items quantity showing price also showing and total amount 185 so here also some missing like a shipping price because he is a using like a professional one this reason we need to show shipping price otherwise he can make calculation so he's showing the 180 but where is the five dollar so we told him get this five dollar you use here so let's go to back again order detail page like uh, here and we can copy all thing we ever use here like first we can use shipping name just go back again and we can copy like same thing p tab keep here First, we can use like a shipping amount so you can put here also this dollar sign so we can do it like a shipping amount and here you can change like orders already there so we don't want to change anything up one is a shipping name so also you can copy paste because of professional work this reason shipping name and here also you can change what is the shipping name like already connection is available suppose you don't know how to do so just check like like fast last five last few videos so you can understand what we have did and remove the dollar sign so shipping name shipping amounts now also we need to show show like a discount code and a discount amount because of some time discount code also available and discount amount also available so let's short out also this one let's copy this and paste here and we can copy and put here discount code so here is a discount code there so put here suppose we are there so it's showing otherwise not there so it's not showing last thing is discount amount so you can change your discount amount here also you can change discount amount okay let's go and check it's there not there means it's working not working always there but let's see just press the enter so you receive the new invoice chat gtp inside what is the title order invoice so simple we already did like this order invoice you see so you can see like a shipping deluxe shipping amount like five dollar total amount is a 185 uh, let's see i have not saved this file this is the reason i have not received discount code and discount amount okay let's try again replace the page so you can see it here and also here missing like a colors and size so also we need to provide like color and size here is a discount code not available this is discount amount zero and the total amount is equal to 185 so you can make it this is the bold so look like a professional this is the reason so simple you can use like a b tag and you can close the b tag so we know okay what he use okay so is highlight so people can eyes wise highlights this is the reason otherwise you don't want to do so you can't do i just told you okay now we need to show here like a color and size because color and size always important so i can make here br and bottom one i can do color so color inside i can show the color name we have already did inside a database column name so color name so just you can copy and paste here next one <coughs> color name next also we need to show like a size and we need to show like a size amount okay so is a color size and here is a size amount so here we can change to size amount so whatever amount there here we can show size amount i copy and i paste here and here i can change size name let's make a number format so look like a professional's here i can put two and also we can put here dollar sign okay let's go back again and refresh the page so we can check it's working not working 
so just refresh the page so 100% working because of I have added changes so just go inside now you can see it like color green SM size so $10 180 so you can see it like uh, everything is perfect perfect way here is the title of the items here is the colors size size here not there this is not there so size amount also zero you can make it condition condition wise also is good suppose you are not that like this name so we don't want to show like if is not empty you can put like this condition so you know it's going to small and look like a professional suppose there so we need to show otherwise we don't want to show okay here's condition there also you can put it here condition discount code is empty so means is the discount not there so you can put it here and if okay same thing you can do it like a name of the shipping name shipping name always available but shipping sometime free so we need to show always so let's go back again refresh the page again just go back refresh the page so you can see it here is a new invoice found so you can see it here you see now is a deluxe and five dollars and discount removed also here is a color only available size and size amount removed because of is not there so you can see it's working very well and also here you can see it like a date and time so let's make it professional way like only show date here and date month by whatever format do you want to like you can do it i like it always like this format so i just do like this str to time and here i can put this value okay so it's done let's go back again payment controller and just scroll down again and you can remove this die and also you can remove the card clear just copy this one and just go to stripe success and you can paste also here so both sides send the emails okay you can see it here let's test final time and we can check it's working not working i just press the enter so means about payment is clear and sending data so it's very good idea and we can try final times so just click here so you can see it's working very well you see paypal showing okay let's make a, this is the also capital means a bold so just go to order and here you can also use style text style i can make t s t y l e style text transparent capitalize so always show the bold this sign this is the reason and here you can make like a b okay so let's check final times it's working not working so i will place another orders and we can check just go to shops and go to fashions here you can go to anywhere whatever place do you want to likes here i can make two quantity two quantities and also i can make greens add to carts there's a cart inside data there let's go to checkouts and also always i add like steps test test you know and I am first I clear all mail so you know it's working very well before we are test like a stripe sorry before we are test is a PayPal now we are testing as a stripe I always use test data okay because of YouTube privacy policy test and I just use a credit card and also you can use like a free shipping okay before you use like a deluxe just click on the process to check out so here is a testing you know me you know taking few seconds I think one error there hundred percent not error sorry because the data getting and going these reasons and here I can check inside order DB so you can see it also here number of the order number you see automatic work dynamic okay let's add after 2024 to 42 this is the like testing whatever name do you want to like you can put it here and after you can check here you receive the emails just wait few seconds more okay so it's cut and here you can see e-commerce order invoice and here you can see it here like uh, your order numbers purchase dates also whatever item you buy and like this and also you can see free shipping so zero price total amount 120 stripe and e-commerce and thanks e-commerce 
so everything working very well about the invoice now also is a mobile you also look like a professional you can see it here you see so we have no issue it is working very well i hope you understand how to send order invoice so next video we can work as a status admin side sends the status we send an email to user okay right now your status is the in progress right now your status is the delivers and right now your status is a completed and like this i can show in next video i hope you can enjoy for this video do you have any question so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solution